When you buy a Rexing dash cam, the camera should be ready to go right out of the box. That being said, you may want to update to the latest firmware if you're experiencing issues with your device. To do this, you're going to need three things. You'll need your Rexing dash cam, a micro SD card, and a computer with internet access. With the dash cam containing your micro SD card, the first thing you're going to want to do is format the card. Doing this will clear all the files off the card, so make sure you backed up any important files beforehand. To access the format function, first make sure you aren't recording. To stop recording, press the rec button. Then on the left side of the camera, press the menu button twice to open the setup menu. Once you're there, you can scroll through the menu with the directional buttons. Once you've selected the format function, press the OK button. You'll be asked to confirm your choice. Once the message clears, you're done formatting and you'll be back in the setup menu. While you're here, you'll also want to find the version setting. Once selected, press OK to view your camera's current version information. This is the firmware currently installed to your camera. Make sure to write down your version information. If your camera is a Rexing V1 or a V1P, you'll be asked for this information soon. Once you've done this, you can shut down your dash cam and take out the micro SD card. Now we're going to use the micro SD card with our computer. There are a couple different ways to do this, but I'm going to be using a USB card reader. Once inserted, the micro SD card should come up as a new drive on your computer. Now that we have the SD card opened up on our computer, we're going to access rexingusa.com. Once there, you can find the firmware download tool through the support menu. Once you select your camera from the dropdown, the firmware tool will find the latest firmware available for your camera. If you're using a Rexing V1 or V1P, you will be asked for your current version information, which you should have written down before. Once you write out your version info, hit the download button. Your browser should download a zip folder. Your firmware file will be within this zip folder and will have the .bin file extension. Depending on your dash cam, you may also have two image files alongside the firmware file. At this point, you don't need to open anything else with your computer. You just want to copy the firmware over to your micro SD card. If your download contained image files, make sure to copy those over as well. Once you've copied the firmware over, you can safely remove the card from your computer. With the dash cam powered off, you can now insert your micro SD card back into the camera. Once it's secured, connect the power cable. Once connected, the screen may appear blank for a few moments with only the front panel lights appearing. This is a good sign as it should be installing the latest firmware at this point. When the screen comes on and the camera starts up as usual, the firmware update has been completed. Now there's only one more thing to do. We're going to need to format the card one more time. It's very important that you do this step as it'll clear the firmware file off of the memory card. If you don't format the card at this point, your camera will keep reinstalling the firmware each time it's powered on until you do. After that's completed, you should check your camera's version information with the version setting to verify that you're on the latest firmware. If everything looks good to go, you can now power down the camera by holding the power button.